Jim Blake, number 35 from Ball State University. Center fielder for the Saints, Matt Edwards. It's great. Chillicothe is a great place to play. Um, it's going well too. I've been working on walking a lot more and hitting. My average is up. My strikeouts are down. So um, I'm definitely, you know, progressing on my game. But uh, just Chillicothe is a great place to play. So it's, it's been a great summer. I'm, I'm taking more pitches and not swinging at. Like if I'm looking for a fastball, I won't swing for a fastball outside the zone. I'm swinging at more strikes and laying off kind of the pitcher's pitch and trying really hard not to get myself out. I feel really good on the ball on the outer half of the plate. I feel like I'm really extending through that. I need to keep working on the inner half. Um, but yeah, I do feel good up there. Uh, I feel like I'm seeing it all right and playing every day and getting your reps in definitely helps a lot too. Time was taken off because it was stemming from that elbow injury that I had uh, at the end of Ball State season, and the nagging injury where I got hit in the elbow a couple times, and then I want to say a week back into the summer season with the Kings, I got hit in that same elbow. And me being me, I tried to grit it out, which wasn't necessarily the smartest thing to do, but that's just who I am. And uh, you know, it started to really affect the way I was playing, so I figured that was that was time to uh, shut it down. So it took about two, three uh, weeks off, and then. You know, it really felt fine, really felt good. This is the first time, I want to say, in a while that I felt 100%, even stemming back before I got my knee injury and all that. So, you know, it feels really great to be back to 100% and play the way I know I can. This, is, this really is the first time I've ever had to battle through injury adversity. My freshman year, I didn't really have any injuries. And then uh, this past year, sophomore year, I had a couple that I kind of had to battle through and I had to look for my teammates to kind of pick me up because I was pretty down at that time and I didn't really know what to do because, I mean, like you said, this is the first time I've been injured and uh, I use that time to get stronger and, and be more of a student of the game during that time. And, you know, so I try to make the best of the situation and I really think that helped. As far as my body goes, I feel physically 100%. As far as the baseball game goes, you know, it takes a while to get back into the speed of things. And I think that'll just come with time and, and playing more overall. And I would say I'm about there. I've, I've been playing just about every day for the last week and a half, two weeks, and I really feel back to the way I was before. I've heard from uh, uh, one of my friend's dads about early June, um, and then so I sent them an email, and um, they emailed me back with interest, and in, um, things happened really fast. I uh, called their, um, and then I started you know, talking to Coach French, and they came to my, my first game that I ever pitched um, here on the summer team, and um, you know, two days later I was on campus, and then you know, the next day I committed, so it was a pretty fast process. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like yet. I haven't seen him since, but um, I'm really excited to start playing with him. And um, yeah, it was especially him being a catcher, it was um, really cool that you know I was throwing with him in high school. And um, probably my best moment was um, when I came back from Tommy John's uh, surgery my senior year. I only pitched like uh, 10 innings my senior year, but um, you know he caught all 10 innings, and you know he was really supportive um, when I, on my uh, comeback. I'm really excited to start playing with him again. He's a great kid. You know, I'm looking really, I'm looking really looking forward a lot to having him on the team. Um, like you said, you can never have too many left-handed pitches on your team. And he really went out today and he threw a lot of strikes and he, he threw really well for us. And uh, he could be a key piece to our, our team next year. And I'm really looking forward to that. My best friend, you know, it's great. It's uh, you look forward more to seeing your friend than you do the game itself. But when the game does start, we're both competitors. We know we're out here, you know, playing to win and playing to get better. But you get to see him, you get to talk, you get to hang out. And, I mean, we are best friends, we live together, and so any, any time we get to spend together is great. Uh, it's awesome seeing teammates, especially this one over here. I mean, this is my best friend, my roommate. Um, we go everywhere together at Ball State, and, and this time away at summer, you don't get to see him. Like, I spend every day with them, every pretty much waking moment with them, and when, when you're away from them, you really value the things that they, they bring to you, make you better, push you, and all that stuff. And it's good just to value the friendship that they bring. Um, when, we, when I see them, like, once every two weeks, a week, we get to, you know, laugh, look back and laugh at the times we had. And but at the same time, we we uh, we know we're out here to get better and work to get that MAC championship goal. There's a coach on our staff that actually is from Ohio, and he never lets me live that down. Um, so that that, as if I don't need any more fuel to the fire, he just kind of adds to it. So every day we're out there trying to get better, knowing that 
we were, we were that much closer this year than we were last year, but we're still not where we want to be. And every day we're working hard to get to that goal where we can bring on the MAC Tournament Championship and go on to regional and maybe even do a Super Regional.